mainly for eyeshadows. And I'm just going to tell you right away which ones I don't find a lot of useful use of. This is the Sigma S S275, an angled uh, eyeshadow brush. I don't use it that often. I'll use it, I'll, I'll grab it sometimes. So this one is the e.l.f. concealer brush. I don't like this e.l.f. brush because it's very stiff and it's a concealer brush and I don't feel like it really puts on the product well. I feel like it wipes it off very easily. So I wouldn't, if you didn't have to, I wouldn't really recommend this one. This is the Sigma SS252 brush and this is my Lise Watier eyeshadow brush. And obviously you can see the Lise Watier one is like very much smaller. And I wanted a smaller brush. I use this a lot so I definitely would recommend a smaller brush like this and it's short and stubby so it's kind of stiff. So I like that really good for uh, eyeshadow on the corners. I have very small lids so I need a smaller brush especially for the outer corners. I want to do something a little bit more defined. So this was the Sigma SS252, the one I use probably the most because it's just for eyeshadow application. I'll uh, just use that for my entire lid. This one I got, it doesn't even have a name on it, um, somebody gave it to me. So you can use this more for like blending out colors or if you want colors more in a, in a, in a general area instead of you know, precise. It's very, almost the exact same as the MAC 213. So I have kind of two of the same brushes, but I bought this one first and then somebody gave me this one. This one is an all over shadow brush by Quo. It's a big one right here. <laughs> this one's big. And the reason why I got it is my cousin's a makeup artist and uh, she used this in one of her tutorials. So I thought I was going to go out and get it, but I honestly don't use it that much. So it's I think it's a good brush if you have a lot of blending to do, but I don't think I would miss it because I don't use it that often. Then this one is the Sigma 239 brush, and it looks like this. I'm going to be comparing it to the e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush. Because I said my eyelids are smaller, I like this more for precise blending, and I've actually been using this one, this e.l.f. one more, um, for blending because it's a little bit more stiff than this one is. This one's a little bit more fluffy. So I definitely like to use the stiff one if I just want like some controlled blending instead of just, you know, gradient blending. Next I'm going to talk about blending brushes. And these are the two blending brushes that I have. This is the Sigma 2 SS224 and this is the Quo Crease Shadow brush. So I I pull for this one way more. I rarely use this one. If this one's dirty then I guess I'll use this one, but this one is way too fluffy for me. Uh, maybe if I had a little bit bigger eye area it would work better for me but I just think it's just too big for my eye it's too fluffy I need I like smaller brushes for my eye but this one's really good I, I, was, I couldn't live without this one because it's my blending brush it's the one that I use to blend everything out make everything look like it's flows together so then I have this brush here which is the Sigma SS217 it comes free or it came free with a few of my packages that I got from Sigma, Sigma so I had a few of them um, I gave them away though. This one's really good too, compared to like a blending brush, this one's a little bit bigger, but what I like about this one is that it's more uh, skinny, where this one's just fluffy all the way around. So this one's good for controlled blending and stuff like that. I also have these two brushes, uh, which I would say more for concealer. This is the SS194 by Sigma and this is the one Urban Decay shadow brush that came with the Naked palette and I honestly don't like this this Urban Decay brush very much. It's very stiff. I don't feel like it puts on product very well. I don't really recommend that one. This one's really good if you, you this is a good like multitasking brush. You can use it for concealer or you can use it for eyeshadow or so I do pull for this one a lot and it is smaller than a normal eyeshadow brush. So I love this one for underneath my eyes, um, really good for like concentrated places if you want something more defined and then you can blend it out. This one's also really good for really just getting product in the lash line. So see how it's really really skinny? I really love this one if you just want a little bit of product in the lash line to make it a little bit more defined. And then I have these ones here that all kind of have similar shapes. This one is the Quo Crease Blender brush. So 
that's kind of weird how that's like a blending, considered a blending brush because it's more of a pencil brush to me. And this was the Sigma S219, so obviously you can see there the, the similar shapes, um, but I definitely probably pull for this one a little bit more because I like to get bigger area, even though this one's not that big, this one's really tiny. So if you, if you wanted more like along the lash line, I would probably use this one. Um, but for, you know, if you want outer corner, I would definitely use this one. This is a, a e.l.f. Professional Smudge Eye Sponge. I haven't really used it that much, so I can't really give an, a good review on it. The next ones I'm going to do are some of my favorite brushes. So this is the Sigma Precision Tapered Brush, the P86, which is the pointy one. The Precision Round Brush is the P82. Um, the Precision Angled Brush is the P84, and then the Precision Flat Brush is the P80. So, right off the bat, I use this one the least, probably, and I use these two the most, and this one, like, so-so, and I'm just going to explain to you why. So, this one... I use good, it, I think it's good for like concealer, this one and this one. I tend to use this one a little bit more because it shears out a little bit more than the round top does. If you want something a little bit more concentrated or a little bit more covered, definitely go for this one. It's basically the same as these bigger brushes here. They're the same concept, do the same thing, but this is for concealer. I would use it for, and these are for foundation. And this one I'll use for under eye a lot because it's it's angled. I don't use it that much. So this one is really interesting and I, I this is probably one of my favorite ones. I like to use black bases and if you're using a black base a lot of the times they're very quick quick drying so it's hard to blend them out. Because it's so pointy you can blend out just the edges of that base you put down and not have to worry about smudging everything. So the next ones I'm going to talk about are eyeliner brushes. These are the brushes I have. This is the Quo one. It's the angled eyeliner brush. It has an angle on it because it's supposed to be a little bit more ergonomically friendly um, so you can see what you're doing while you're lining your eye. This one is a Sigma SS209 brush which is a, a thicker brush um, as you can see for eyeliner and then this is my MAC 210 brush so it's really really tiny and I know some people don't like really tiny brushes but like I said before in my video that I have smaller eyes. I need something that's gonna elongate my eye and not really take over my whole lid so this one I don't use at all. If I use it, I'll probably use it for underneath my eyes. This is the, the, the Quo angled one. I don't use that either. I tried using it and I just was like, I don't think this one's much easier than a normal brush. Um, so I, ha I got this one and I love this one. This one, if you want a really clean, tiny, skinny line and because, see how my eyelids, I didn't use this one today, but um, my eyelids are small, this brush almost takes up half my eyelid. So if I use the other ones, it just looks like my whole eyelid has one line of liner on it. And then I have my angled brushes. These are the SS266, and this one's just a random one. I don't even know what this came from, to be honest with you. This one, see how the different sizes of this one? And like I said, I like smaller brushes for my eyes. So the Sigma one is definitely smaller. Great for gel liner. I don't really reach for this one that much. From time to time for eyeshadow or whatever, I'll use this one. Those are my overall brushes of what I have in my collection. I don't use all of them all the time. I probably could do without some, but mainly I do kind of use all of them at some point. So they're, it's not really a loss for me because I do actually use all of them. <music> The four brushes, the smaller brushes that I think you should definitely have in your kit for a good basic eye if you're just starting off with makeup or you don't do very much makeup is the flat brush, the SS252, um, the Sigma SS224 which is a, a blending brush. This one's for eyeshadow application, just a nice flat brush for eyeshadow application. This one's for blending which is very important when you're doing eyeshadows to blend out that eyeshadow. 
and this is a pencil brush for more of the corners and then this one is the elf eyeshadow c brush which i think is really good for blending just outer edges so those are probably my top ones for beginners and i'm just going to mention a couple other outstanding ones that i really like that i would recommend for somebody who wants to experiment a little bit more with makeup so this one is the these watier eyeshadow brush really small brush like i said before good for a smaller spaces this one is the mac 214 good for under eye and around the lash line uh, this one is the precision flat top p80 that one's really good for concealer around you know around your eyes and your nose and and stuff like that i really like that one really good for shearing out so i definitely would recommend this one this one is the flat one that I really like. It's one of my favorite ones too. It's a 212. Really good for getting into lash line. Um, and I've actually used this before for eyeshadow. With, with eyeshadow, just to rim along my lashes because I don't. My lashes are kind of light at the end. Put some a little bit of like dark brown right along the rim. It fills them in. A lot of these things are multi-purpose. I use them for different reasons. The eyeliner brush which I think is really good, the, t the skinny one. Really good for smaller eyelids. And then this one is the P86 by Sigma. Definitely awesome for blending out bases. Awesome for that. Very controlled because it's pointy, so I really love that. So all in all, those are my favorite brushes out of all my brushes. Those are probably my top ones that I definitely would recommend to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys later.